If people don't like to be sold by car salespeople, why in the hell do we tell people we're car salespeople? Why do we, why, why, why at meet and greet do we appear to be a car sales person? Because you are a car salesperson. You're in a car life. Because oh. at some point, the customer will know, I'm, I'm here to buy a car. If you call somebody, you work here. Prince, I know what you are, okay? I know what all of us are. But I'm asking you to reframe what you are. Let well, me see, ask I'm you this. I'm not in the car business. I'm in the people business. I'm just here to put a dream in your driveway. That's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that is poetic. Okay. <laughs> that is poetic. <laughs> Prince, you, uh, look, uh, you're preaching to the converted man. All right. I have to do what I said. Look, was your employee number? Yes. <laughs> you, are, you are preaching to the converted. But I'm trying to, I, but what I want to do here is I want to communicate, especially to some of the newer people, um, a better way to present yourself, whether you're at a bar, at church, at, at work, whatever. Um, if, like Cuban said, you present yourself as someone who helps people buy, is that more palatable to the buying public than I'm here to sell you a car? Absolutely. Okay. Some people say, well, that's just words, Steve. Well, no, it's not just words. It's an attitude, all right? Um, I learned this from a salesman in St. Louis, Missouri, okay? I was teaching meet and greet four, five, six years ago, and one of them said, hey, Michael there's got the best meet and greet we've ever heard. I said, well, Michael, bring it on. Michael's meet and greet went something like this. <coughs> Welcome to Courtesy. My name is Steve, and you are? Desiree. Hey, Desiree. Great to have you here. Are you here to see anybody in particular? No. Okay, Desiree, I'm going to guess, like, if you're like most of my customers, you've done a bunch of research before you got here, correct? Yes. Okay, I appear to be a car salesman. I quit selling cars a couple years ago. I discovered when I helped people buy cars, they had a better time, and so did I, and the whole process went a whole lot faster. If you've got a bunch of information, you don't need anybody <coughs> to tell you a doggone thing. If we can find the right one, can I help you buy a car today? Yes. What do you think that does to the customer? Just that Jesus. negative kind of car salesman. Car salesman. Mm -hmm. You become a human. Yeah, well, you know what, CJ? I tell people this all the time. The quicker you become a human, the more people you will deliver a new or used vehicle to, and the faster the process will go. When you're not Jerome the car salesman, you're just Jerome the human being, you are head and shoulders above most of the people that sell cars for a living. The guards start to come down. Well, and by the way, what do we really, I mean, does this mean I, is this, does this mean we don't need to close hard? No. No, no because what the customers show up to do here? Buy a car. If they don't buy a car, have they failed? Yes. And we have failed them. Because if they leave here, they're gonna buy a car somewhere. They gonna find a better dealership for this one? <clears throat> or the one you work at? Yes, Cuban.